today we are going to do two different bread recipes all the ingredients are here you can have this for breakfast or whenever you feel a bit uh, hungry all right now for the first recipe it's called, uh, it's called eggy bread and in malay it's called roti telo this is oil this is a bit of salt two eggs and uh, coarsely pounded pepper this is a must it, this is what makes the difference and of course your bread here yeah. and for the other dish that i'm going to do is uh, what we used to have from young and we called it bombay toast and uh, don't know why they were called bombay toast i just presumed that maybe it started in bombay india i'm going to show you my version of what we were used to from young bombay toast need some liquid milk if you don't have boxed milk just uh, UHT milk if you don't have it just beat some milk powder full cream milk powder with a bit of warm water then you will need a little bit of sugar though the topping will be sweet later you will need the sugar this to get the caramelization underneath on the bread okay and uh, just two eggs according to your family you can increase the eggs and the milk according to how, how many pieces you wish to make and then you will need butter if you don't have butter margarine will do okay and uh, this is how you eat it later with a drizzle of honey or an alternative is powdered sugar and cinnamon okay that I have here you sprinkle it on top okay I'm going to get started with the eggy bread hari ini kami akan memasak dua jenis resipi menggunakan telur Uh, selalunya ini untuk makanan pagi ya ataupun bila-bila uh, terasa lapar dan hendak memakan sesuatu dengan cepat satu daripada ini yang akan saya buat dulu adalah roti telur uh, yang diperlukan adalah garam uh, minyak garam juga di telur dan lada hitam yang ditumbuk kasar ya dan roti uh, satu lagi resepi adalah roti bombay dan uh, untuknya kita akan memerlukan uh, susu kotak sedikit uh, vanilla essence telur uh, gula sedikit untuk uh, mendapat macam kesan caramelization ya. dan butter kalau tak ada butter margarine pun boleh uh, yang ini kita makan selalunya dengan uh, sedikit uh, madu di atas kalau tak ada madu, boleh juga tumbuk sedikit gula dan kayu manis. Serbuk kayu manis kalau ada, campur saja. Kalau tak ada, tumbuk sedikit kayu manis dan gula serbuk. Ya. Now, kita akan memulakannya. Two eggs and I'm going to add now the pepper, the parsley, powdered pepper. This is a must. This is what that sort of gives it a kick. And a little bit of salt. Not too little, but just nice. I'm using about this much, you see, for two eggs. If you increase it according to your life. Right. Now, I'm going to whisk it up. Uh, saya telah memecahkan dua biji telur. Saya telah memasukkan sedikit garam tadi. Dan lada hitam yang dikupuk kasar dan sekarang saya akan memukulnya kita potong tipis triangle macam ni Now what you do is just add in. It's a very very simple recipe. Try it and see. You might just like it. Ini resepi yang paling senang nak dibuat. Api jangan tinggi sangat. Kalau nak crispy kemudian ya. Now saya naikkan api sedikit saja. Benda-benda ni budak-budak boleh bawa bekal atau ke sekolah ataupun um, suami-suami ke anak-anak yang pergi college boleh bawa bekal kalau takut nak makan lagi buah dia. Masih 
a golden color performing. This recipe is nice for children to bring to school. Put it on observant paper and pack it for them once it's cool, not while it's hot. A very very simple tasty recipe. can be eaten for breakfast or whenever you are a little hungry. It is the color you want, a, a bit of a golden nice color. And it's okay. If you uh, found it coarser, you will see specks of black here and there. In fact, it's nice but Anyone with tooth problem, please <laughs> go a bit fine. Ini kalau ditumbuk kasar memang sedap. Di sana sini kita akan nampak betulan-betulan kecil uh, yang hitam. Memang sedap. Tapi kalau ada orang yang sakit gigi, tolonglah jangan. Yeah? Okay. Heat up your skillet or saucepan. Or uh, in this case, I'm using my non-stick uh, toaster uh, pan. Okay, which will do it's the job. And I'm beating up two eggs. I'm putting in this much of sugar. Okay, just for two eggs. In fact, uh, half of, half of that amount. I would say half a teaspoon. Yeah, because it's only two eggs. And then I'm going to add in a bit of milk. Just keep adding until you get a certain color. Add just a pinch of salt. This is to balance the sugar just now. Let me add it, just a pinch, okay? I'm now doing this just for maybe for two pieces for two people, right? And I'm adding in just one, two, three, four, five cups of vanilla essence. That's all. And then, once the pan is a bit hot, and in this requires quite a lot of butter or margarine. Okay, so the first memanaskan kuali apa apa kuali yang DP. Okay, nonstick ini for say punya pot nonstick atau pun saucepan ya. Api tak tak besar. Tak mau dia hangus sebab saya telah memasukkan telur, susu cair, gula, sedikit garam dan lima titik esen vanila. Apa yang kita perlu buat sekarang ialah memasukkan roti ke dalam. Telur. Masukkan roti dan Benda ni budak-budak orang yang dewasa semua akan suka ya. Can take your time as you do this, and especially if you have a large pan, I'm gonna add in another one. I think you can get about four or five pieces with two eggs. So if you have a large family, just keep keep adding the eggs. You can see a very nice caramelization. Okay, this is just eaten as it is. Okay, but uh, this bombetos, I'm going to show you something. I'm going to put a bit of honey on one. This is how I send it to my children for school purposes. Okay, I just put a little bit of so honey drizzle. And you cut and eat it straight away. Or for school purposes, I would sandwich it like this. Let it further cool down. Use the scissors and cut it into nine squares. And this I'm showing you. This is the powdered sugar and cinnamon. Just a bit. Untuk anak saya, kalau kita makan di rumah hanya macam ni, potong dan makan. Tapi untuk sekolah saya selalu akan 
uh, lapikkan dia macam ni biar dia betul-betul sejuk ambil gunting dan gunting kita boleh dapat 9 kepingan yang kecil-kecil bila sejuk masukkan dalam tupperware satu lagi saya ambil tadi serbuk gula dengan kayu manis ya yeah, dua cara nak makan ni okey cubalah kasih komen like share dan subscribe ya yeah. kasih komen kalau ada soalan apa-apa boleh tanya saya akan cuba jawab bye